Sage here for Kalkine Media. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. Today's trending topic covers how does one invest in NASDAQ? As the global economy recovers from the COVID-19 lockdowns, which force thousands of businesses across the world to close down, Australian investors are looking for ways to diversify their portfolios. And while the Australian Securities Exchange, or ASX, has over 2,000 listed companies for investors to choose from, there are exchanges worldwide offering a lot more choice. And one such exchange, which also happens to be the second largest, is the NASDAQ. And while Australians are geographically situated half a world away from Wall Street, that doesn't mean they can't invest in the famed exchange. The NASDAQ, what is it? While the New York Stock Exchange, or NYSE, is the largest in the world, it's followed closely by the National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations, or NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, which currently trades in 25 markets, five central security depositories in the United States and Europe, and one trading house, commenced on Wall Street in New York City in 1971, and now boasts an index of over 3,000 listed companies, including tech giants like Apple and Amazon. So as well as stocks, the NASDAQ also lists some of the world's most popular cryptocurrencies. In 2007, the NASDAQ officially partnered with the OMX, the Scandinavian Exchange Group. It currently handles approximately 10% of the world's transactions on securities, and the speedy evolution in technology has made NASDAQ's electronic trading the gold standard for markets worldwide. Can Australians invest in NASDAQ? Australians looking to diversify their portfolio have turned to the NASDAQ to trade and invest in a wider range of stocks and commodities. The most popular method of trading in the NASDAQ from anywhere overseas is using a share trading platform such as eToro or IG share trading. And different platforms offer different trading fees, with some platforms charging no trading fees for US exchanges. Through these platforms, it's possible to buy and sell individual stocks listed on the NASDAQ. It's also possible for anyone to invest in contracts for difference or CFDs, which allow traders to speculate on the movement of assets, including stocks. However, it must be stated that this is a considerably far more risky option. So how do Australians invest in NASDAQ? After choosing a trading platform, as previously said, different platforms charge different fees, so it's important to shop around. The investor will simply need to open a share trading account, and to do this, you'll need to enter your basic details, name, date of birth, postal address, etc. And then provide a primary form of identification, like a passport. You'll also be asked to share your tax file number, or TFN, and this is important as Australians are required to abide by the Australian tax legislation, which may include capital gains tax, depending on the size of the profits, as well as the length of time. On many sites, such as eToro, the investor is asked a series of questions, and this includes things like annual income, but might also include a question to test an investor's experience and investing acumen. Investors may also be asked how many years of trading and stock investment experience they've had, as well as the investor's risk versus reward expectations. While these questions may seem invasive, the site does this as part of the ASIC requirement to protect investors from potentially losing their money in ill-advised trades. Sites such as eToro will not allow those to trade who haven't scored 10 out of 10 in a multiple choice questionnaire. It should also be noted the information and investor supplies are kept strictly confidential. Deposit funds. 
Next, the investor will be required to deposit funds into their chosen site's account. Different exchanges have different minimum deposits, but you can invest as low as 50 Australian dollars. The investor is then required to convert their currency from Australian dollars to US dollars. And there is usually a small fee associated with this. Buy NASDAQ shares. The last step, of course, is to buy shares, and this is the tricky bit. So it's imperative that the investor conducts through thorough research before deciding what to buy. And furthermore, it's important to lay out some financial goals before getting started. For example, for example, are you investing for long-term gains or are you trading stocks daily? Answering these questions will determine your investment strategy, virtual investing. A good way to introduce oneself to a foreign market is to begin by virtual investing, investing fake money. Most platforms have this feature and it allows people to trade without the risk of losing any real money. It's a great way to learn, but it's also virtual. And that may sound obvious, but things are very different when there's real money at stake. And feelings such as fear, which can be detrimental to an investor, if not adequately managed are notably absent or at the very least virtual when investing with fake money. But that's another subject for another day and good luck and good investing. Thanks for joining us on the report and if you like the information please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. For regular information and further updates please head to the website calkinemedia.com and this is Sage for Calkine Media.